G'day guys and welcome to another installment of Nathan's Beer Reviews. Today I'm looking at the third of four Gage Roads craft beers, Gage Roads Brewing Company's craft beers from Western Australia. And uh, today I've got the Sleeping Giant IPA Indian Pale Ale. 5.4% alcohol by volume in this 330 milliliter brown stubby which comes in at 1.4 Australian standard drinks. Um, so yeah, earlier today I reviewed their Single Fin Summer Ale and their Atomic Pale Ale, which is an American style pale ale. Um, both videos which should be uploaded by the time you see this one. Um, never had this beer before. As with all the with the two aforementioned Gage Road beers, I haven't drunk Gage Road beers before. I bought this four pack, variety pack. Um, so it should be an interesting IPA. A tribute to the beer that once quenched the thirst of parched colonials at Admiral Gage's East India Station. This English style IPA is malt driven with a slightly spicy aroma, lingering bitterness, and we bottle it unfiltered for flavour and freshness. Brewed by Fussy Bastards, Gage Road Brewing Company for Absalom Street, Palmyra, Western Australia. Uh, GageRoads.com.au. So. Yeah, pretty much standard. Uh, good artwork on the beer. It's this orange, maroon, and white label um, with an elephant playing with some beer barrels, probably drunk out of its mind. And obviously, on the docks of somewhere in India, Admiral Gage's East India Station, another elephant in the background with a couple of elephant handlers or dock workers running for their lives, and a sailing ship in the background. So Definitely a nod to times gone by. Uh, what else can I tell you about this beer? I'm not entirely sure what hops are in it. It doesn't um, actually say on their website. Does it? No, it, it, yeah, no, it doesn't. Um, our tribute to the beers that once, yeah, it's the same thing that's on their label. Uh, I can tell you it comes in at 55 IBUs. Um, international bitterness units with 22 EBC I don't know what EBC is it's their color scale and yeah 5.4 percent alcohol um, the two big review websites uh, rate beer and beer advocate beer advocate gives it a 3.5 out of 5 a good rating up from 49 reviews and rate B gives it a 44 overall with a 22 for the style a 3.15 out of 5 overall from 82 ratings as of the 18th of december 2018 which is today's day so yeah aside from that i don't really know much about the beer i am excited to try it i have enjoyed the two beers i've tried from them before being their single fin summer ale uh, which was excellently refreshing for a very hot sydney afternoon and their atomic american style pale ale which was fairly bitter and had a really really nice bitterness i thought so it, coming in at 55 ibus this should really quench my bitter liking i do like a nice bitter pale ale indian pale ale so enough rambling on it's going in the beard and old tulip which is my new favorite glass cracking it open decent smoke on the opening and with their other two beers their cap is possibly the best cap i've seen on any beer thus far it is a simple gold crown with a trident and you're thinking oh that's nice and simple but the writing Please use an opener, not your eye socket, which is really, really safe advice because, let's face it, we've all been to one of those parties where some dickhead tries to open up a non-twist top. You know, we've all seen that old Han Super Dry ad, or was it Han Super Dry? Whatever beer ad it was where um, the guy tries to open up with his eye or stick it in his mouth and then try to open it that way. So, be safe. Use a goddamn bottle opener. I mean, you know. All right, so we're pouring it in to the beard and all glass, which is my new favourite beer glass. Willow, lights. That nearly breached the top. We'll go off that for now. So we're looking at a very, very dark amber, copper, almost rusty-like appearance beer with decent hazy 
haziness to it, slight chill haze, but you can't really see through the beer. Um, they do say it is unfiltered, so we'll try and see if we can get some more of that sediment in with the, the last dregs. A uh, little bit of sediment left in there, but nothing too major. So yeah, pours nice golden, dark golden copper appearance. Dark orange with one to two finger of a very nice looking white head, quite thickly packed, although there is a nice fat bubble right there, which just popped. Thank you. Great timing. The smell. Really good stone fruits. Smelling a bit of plum. A little bit of apricot. Bit of like passion fruit, sort of mango aroma going on. Bit malty. Got that caramel sort of sweetness to it. Does smell quite quite uh, quite thirst quenching so it's about 11 p.m. here at night gonna have a couple of years and go to bed so let's hope uh, let's hope it does the job cheers guys really nice and smooth for a pale ale as for their two beers I've reviewed so far their single fin and their atomic pale ale it has a good level of uh, carbonation a nice spicy bitterness on the tongue which lingers quite nicely for an IPA it's quite sweet definitely picking up those caramel and, and almost toffee like flavors in in the malts And those sort of overpower the the fruitiness of the hops a little bit, but the bitterness, those that 55 IBU bitterness, really does punch through at the end and sort of lingers on the tongue, and sort of you know gives you your, your taste buds on the tongue a little little prickle. Yeah, it's a nice prickly dryness, a prick, prickly bitterness that finishes dry. For a 5.4% IPA, doesn't actually taste too strong. It still drinks very smooth. Finishes crisp, finishes dry, finishes bitter. A little bit too sweet for my liking, but a decent, decent pale ale. I've definitely had worse. The carbonation adds to that prickly bitterness on the tongue. But it's, yes, it's a nice dry, dry finish to it. Reasonably refreshing, reasonable, you know, quen thirst quenching. Um, beer. Yeah, it's a nice IPA. It's not too overly hoppy. It's not too bitter. I'd probably like it a little, the hop flavours to come through a bit more, that fruity aromatic sort of you know nose that comes through initially doesn't really follow through with the taste but it definitely has a nice bitterness which i do enjoy from a good ipa at 5.4 percent abv it's probably not the most sessionable of beers you know two or three and you'll probably find you won't be able to drive home um but like I said from the from the very start of, of the taste, it's very smooth. You don't really pick up on the alcohol at all. And it's it's quite enjoyable. So would I drink it again? Absolutely. Um, you know, cheap six pack of this and I'll I'll definitely pick it up again. So it's not the not the world's greatest IPA. I do tend to agree with some of the ratings. It's it's not top end IPA, but it's 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 a very valid attempt at one. 
they're really drinkable. Nice bitterness. If you like a good bitter pale ale IPA, you'll enjoy it. So what did I rate it? I think the malty sweetness is just a little bit too much. Um, it sort of takes away from the, the nice fruity, hoppy flavours that you, you come to expect from an IPA. But it does make up for that with the bitterness if you like a nice bitter IPA. It does linger on the tongue a bit. Um, and that sort of raises the enjoyableness back up to where you should be enjoying an IPA. Um, yeah, it's not a terrible IPA. It's not a bad IPA. It's a good IPA. It's not an excellent IPA, but it's a good IPA. So I think a solid B for Gage Rhodes Indian Pale Ale Sleeping Giant IPA. It's a decent IPA without being anything too fancy. Um, if you're looking to move into the IPA sort of world, it's probably not the worst one to try out. You know, if you've tried a few American style pale ales and you, you want something with a, a bit more bitterness, not a bad place to start. So, yeah, look, a sol solid beat. It's still a good score for the beer. Um, I can definitely see me drinking more of it, but um, probably find it's just slightly too expensive to go buying it regularly. Um, but yeah, if I see it cheap, I'll, I'll pick it up because, you know, a B is still a good score for, a, for an IPA. So, cheers, guys. If you enjoyed watching the review, uh, feel free to click that like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. The more feedback I get from you guys in terms of likes and subscriptions and comments, the more inclined I am to do more of these reviews. So, um, tell us what beer you want me to review next in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next review. Cheers, guys.